A lot had changed since I started out. Back then, the only thing that mattered was flying. That's me, Slayton. Major Donald K. My friends called me Deke. Going faster, farther, higher was all we cared about. Ten years had passed. Now it was 1967. The moon was the center of my life. And right then it felt pretty damn close. Down on pad 34, the moon rocket was ready for its first flight. Pad 34. Man, if this place could talk. Gus, uh, what do you think your chances are for an Apollo flight? I think they're pretty good. I expect to be around for most of the Apollo program. You think you will one day make one of the trips to the moon, then? Uh, I'm, I'm planning on it. Gus Grissom. <laughs> Not much on water skis, but a hell of a pilot and a damn good engineer. He liked to have a good time as much as the rest of us. But when it came to work, there was an intensity you could cut with a knife. Gus was a charger. He was a uh, very uh, macho type. He was really the typical test pilot. But he also had go fever. You know, he wanted to get it going. He wanted to get up there and, and do the job. Gus was our second man in space, and he flew a perfect mission. But that wasn't what people remembered. What they remembered was he'd lost his ship. And somehow, Gus got tagged with making a mistake because he lost the spacecraft, and you were not allowed a mistake. Was I, did I feel that I was in danger at any time during the flight or in the water? Well, I was scared a good portion of the time. I guess this is a pretty good indication. You were what? Scared. <laughs> OK. Test pilots lose planes. It happens. But this wasn't the test pilot business anymore. This was the astronaut business. When it goes right, you get a parade and a trip to the White House. When it goes wrong, you get a reputation. It hurt him very, very much. It's very easy to blame the astronaut, but that wasn't Gus. Gus was much too great an engineer and too serious a pilot. He got tagged as the astronaut who'd lost his ship. Gus hated the reputation, but he didn't run away from it. He stuck it right in everybody's face. On his next flight, he named his spacecraft the unsinkable Molly Brown. Gus was very intense, very, very intense about the problem he had with his Mercury flight, very intense about sort of disappearing out of the system. So he made his Gemini flight a perfect Gemini flight. This time, the ending was perfect, too. After splashdown, he got seasick, puked his guts out. But he wouldn't open that hatch until the chopper had a firm grip on the capsule. He'd made his point. Gus wanted that first Apollo ride. Now he would get it. Mm -hmm. 